I know this has been pretty amazing. Yeah, we think this so is a pretty special place. So. We've just never seen anything like this. So do you guys know why the rocks are red here in, in Sedona? It's because of the clay. The clay? That's a good guess. You sounded very confident <laughs> with that. <laughs> a very small percentage of the makeup of this rock, the red rock, the sandstone stuff, is a mineral called hematite. You might recognize the prefix hema, like hemoglobin. Okay. Hemoglobin is iron in your blood. So hematite is the same as iron oxide. What happens to iron when it gets rained on? Red. Goes red. Yeah, it goes red. It rusts. You're right. absolutely right, both of you. We're looking at rusty rocks. Oh, all right. Yeah. They're pretty rusty rocks, though. And uh, this time of day is kind of a drag. You have to put your hand up over the sun here. But look at this rock formation that kind of goes up from right to left. Mm -hmm. The locals call it the cock comb. They say it looks like kind of looks like the head of a, on the top of a rooster's head. But uh, the Native Americans have a really cool name for it. I think anyway, they call it ascending elders. And use your imagination. Go one, two, three up from right to left. Mm -hmm. And that third one to me almost looks like he's got a staff and they're hiking up into the heavens. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. So the different colors on the rock is like there's different years eroded type. Yeah, um, remember I said that, that no less than six inland seas came in here and flowed in and they went out and another one would take its place? That's why you see the layers. They leave the deposits and another one would come in and do a similar thing. Mm 